Hey folks, welcome back to Tank Mechanic Simulator and we got ourselves a T3485 today. That is the later war model of the T34. This thing is in pretty poor condition. And right now we have, well, a Sherman turret on the turret ring. So we should probably put that back for now, at least. But today it is time to make the pretty out of the Russian tank. This is one we've not done in a while. And I've not played a lot of Tank Mechanic Simulator. It's been something I kind of drift back into and out of every now and again. But I like to try and bring some of the new stuff that I've not done yet to you guys. There have been some days to the game as well, which I'm kind of excited to see what they do with the whole thing. But overall, it, this is a really relaxing game. I love playing it. And it's a perfect sort of off day thing I could do for you guys because I get to just hang out with you and chat. And tanks are kind of cool. You know, it always reminds me, whenever I play this, it's one of those games where I think, you know what, I should go back and play World of Tanks. And then never do. Because, I don't know, reasons. It always escapes me, but at some point I feel like I should. Oh, can we dust that in there? We can. Hey. Best reading those are repair only. So let's take those off. Out you come, out of fuel tanks. Oh, we have to get that off first. And then that. Okay, up on top for the de-rusting. Bit different to the older T-34 model. Bigger turret, more crew, bigger gun, of course. Uh, let's get that turret taken off just so we can get that taken care of. Any of these components inside that need cleaning up. Should make things relatively easy. We don't have to buy all the missing components, of course, for this one. Because this is basically a hulk. This thing is very dead. Barely even a tank. It's kind of just metal that happens to be tank-shaped. But the nice thing about the T-34s is they are stupid simple. i not even kidding. They are stupid simple inside. There's basically nothing in here. <laughs> As you can tell. Let's set the engine hatch off. Right, what am I taking off first in here? That's the question. Oh, fuel tanks. Oh, not that. So we want to take off the air filters. Yep. Then we can take the ex radiators. Okay. No, you don't want to take that off first. I think those may all be components that are attached to the rest of it. So we'll take off that. There we go. And we'll have the engine hoisted out, I think. So, whilst we just go here, we'll go to our tablet. We'll go to the tank parts shop. And of course, we're looking for the T3485, which is this one. That's not the right button I wanted. I wanted to actually go up to the tank. I forgot how to do this. Analysis. Yeah, we'll buy the missing parts. 26,000. Not terrible. Kind of a 3.6 rock in price. Nah, Chernobyl jokes. Never mind. Alright, let's get this engine cleaned up and ready for service in the old beastie. Must say, I do enjoy this sometimes. It's a very calming game. Let's sand this down. Make everything pretty again. Well, as pretty as you can get a big block Russian engine. That is already very stripped down. Time to do the hull as well, because that needs doing. Strip this whole bad boy back to primer. Then we can start adding components back in and painting. Although I'm probably going to want to do this in phases to make sure I can get all the components inside. Basically nothing on this side apart from one single sprocket arm. Done that. Exhaust on the rear. Let's get up on top of her, unless there's something underneath I need to look at. Nope, it's basically nothing. Yep, the whole tank is clean. Dah. 
and inside we go. Sand blasters, ammo containers, those are drum mags for the bow machine gun. And that is all clean. Nice. Okay, turret should be a quick job. Because apparently we blast the outside and it takes care of the inside. Get the turret ring, the cupola ring, the sight, and the hatch up there. That should be everything on the inside. Oh, God, that got stuck. Oh, one little one there. Primer time. Make sure everything is pretty and red, ready for paint. Should just be that, and the turret is ready to rock and roll. There we go. Do the same to the hull here. I did try out Rover Mechanic Simulator recently because I thought, well, you know, I, I quite enjoy Tank Mechanic Simulator. I love space. So I figured I'll buy Rover Mechanic Simulator. That'll be fun. Man, that is an infinitely more complicated game. Not from a, it's really hard, just it's painstaking. Every nut, every screw, every bolt. And it, I ain't got time for that. I, yeah, I understand the principle of it. It's definitely something if you're really into that, but it definitely was a way more intensive game in terms of input, labor, playtime. Not really something you guys would want to watch because it would literally take me hours to just strip these things to little pieces. All right, assembly mode. A little bit of that, a little bit of headlights. Oh, yes, we repaired. No, we didn't repair that. Okay, so we need to go to our storage section. Uh, select all for the T3045. We will outsource our repairs to, to Primer. We'll go to Primer. And it'll be 20 seconds before that's done, so back into assembly mode. And we can, well, that was missing, so that's easy to put on, as was that, and that. Nice. Okay, so internal components we didn't have. These should all be easy enough. Drop those in. Nice, simple Russian components. That's kind of it. Oh, no, now it lets me put the ammo racks in. Okay. I'm thinking that is everything for the inside. Let's look at the storage section. Everything's ready to go. So, those should be now... Oh, apparently it painted them for me. I didn't want it to paint them for me, but it did. Okay, let's get these components back inside here. Nice and simple. Very easy Russian tank. Although apparently a lot of these components were missing. So, fair enough. And I hate it when it does that where I can't quite see if I put everything back in yet. No, I can't. Damn you! D uh. No! I want to put the brake drums on. Thank you. Can't see the components because of you. There we go. Transmission shaft. Will it actually let me climb out the engine bay? Yes, it finally will. Okay. Right. Suspension time. Oh, it wants me to drill these in. Okay. Or well, screw them in. Yeah, same word difference. Words are hard. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Put those road wheels on. The tow rope back on there. Attach these items. Easily does it. Nice, relaxing tanks. Tanks are easy. They're uncomplicated. They're just metal. And sometimes you just got to play a chill game because life is too complicated. Life is so many freaking competitive games and... What the hell? Oh. Now it wants me to screw something in I can barely see. That magically I didn't even know was there. There we go. Now, life is competitive games. It's 
fast, it's high paced, it's lots of good stuff done, it's you know, GTA stuff, it's Overwatch, it's other things, it's just busy. Sometimes it is so worth it to just play a quiet, relaxing game. And I like this one, just because it is that quiet, relaxing, uncomplicated, doesn't expect me to be a pro, doesn't expect me to be amazing. And it's kind of why I like it. I just get to do a thing. I can watch TV. I can play the game. Obviously, I can't when I'm recording this for you guys. But you know what? I don't mind. It's just nice to be able to just sit here and talk to you guys. Um, those of you who, of course, are there on my stream on Thursday know I have a dental appointment tomorrow because I uh, chipped my tooth during my stream or just before it. So a little bit of pain, but generally okay. Um, by the time you watch this, I'll be at the dentist. That is weird. Yes. Not a big fan of those. I go, of course. Everyone does, but never been a huge fan. Teeth uh, suck. Don't like dealing with them. Yeah. Some bad experiences when I was a kid. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's universal. Everyone hates dentists. It's just one of those things. Especially tooth pain is one of the nastiest things that ever existed in the face of humanity. Okay, that's the tracks back on now. And I may have goofed up putting the paint on here, but we'll do what we can. Okay. Let's see if this works. I love how I paint the rubber. That's always been my favorite part of this game, how no matter what, I can just paint the rubber and it's all fine. Now, the question is, did I oof and miss the springs? Yes, we did. There we go. Get him from below, at least. Oh, there we go, up there. Try and catch that. I hope this is taking care of the springs. I don't think it will, but we'll find out if it has. That'd make my life so much easier if I could just do it from this angle. No messing around necessary. Oh, there we go. Back of the tank is sorted. Let's get that skirt. Okay. Those bits and pieces on top. Plus paint. You are not painted. But if I look in here. Why don't you paint? Seriously? You're meant to be something I'm meant to paint. Why can't I paint you? That's weird. And I can't see those, but... They appear to be the right colour, so success. Right, some of these components that I put on here are not painted for some reason. That is real weird. We'll take care of that in a second. Yeah, so it won't be painted, it's just primer, no matter what. So that is an odd one. Let's paint some ammo. GG. Interior stuff is good to go. Nothing in the back end is painting? No? Okay. Guess I'm taking all your bits and pieces off because apparently you refuse to be painted and must go unpainted, which I've never had to deal with before. They just can't be stripped, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Select all, outsource repairs. We'll have to go to painted because it's going to be a trial, isn't it? Right. Engine. I bought the parts. I swear to God, I literally bought missing parts for tank. Why no missing parts? Huh. Oh, now I have it. Apparently it was trying to paint the bits that aren't metal. Go figure. 
There we go. Pop that on. Big exhaust attachments. Is that it? There's got to be more. There's got to be more. Oh, there is. Do, do, do. Oh, the engine's done. Well, fine then. Let's put you back in there. Let's put some engine cover on this biatch and be good to go. And now when I put this back on, they should be colored correctly, finally. Because it refused to let me paint them, which normally you can. That is a weird one. Give it a saw. Everyone needs a saw for the Russian logs. Hull interior condition is good. Engine condition is good. Exterior. Interior. Turret time. Right. Barrel. Ah, probably put the gun breach in. That's probably a good start. Gunner's optics. The viewer. Loader seat. Another viewport. Air filters at the back of the turret. This can't be it. That seems way too uncomplicated. Even for a Russian tank. Oh, there's a seat there. So the sleeve for the mantlet. Antenna. Viewer. Commander's hatch. Exterior condition is good. Let's paint this thing. There we go. Nice. Very Russian green. Hit that seat. The view up here. And we want to go into assembly mode, don't we? What was missing? Oh, they're going to see. So interior is 100, exterior is 100. We are done, Washington. I wonder if I could put the. I've got a theory. I want to test it. Darn it. Oh, it just puts it back on the right tank. That's annoying. I was hoping I could put a T-34 turret onto a... Uh... Ooh, hello. Whee! I could just pick stuff up. <laughs> I was hoping I could put a T-34 turret onto a uh, Sherman. Turns out you can't. Damn it. Oh, why won't you let me paint you? That is annoying. Really annoying. Storage, uh, select all repairs because reasons, and you want to be a massive hassle. So we wait until that one box is finished. So might as well paint the Sherman turret. Although, have I got parts for the Sherman? I don't. Did I take those off? No. That was a rusting hulk when I first found this bad boy. But she is a work in progress. Oh, there we go. Yeah, an American work in progress that will hopefully at some point be a pretty tank to go in the little museum here, but yeah, you got to start somewhere, right? I say I do love the Shermans, even though I actually put my other one in the museum without some of the parts on it. I left these skirts on here, but I didn't put the drop-down portion on, which were actually taken off mostly during the war because they got bent and caught and stuff and muddy and they were pointless. Right, toolbox and tow rope. Okay. Test drive options. Fluids. Oil. We're going to have to put fuel and oil. Then we're going to have to make sure we get the paint sorted. And. Oh, fuel. There we go. Fill these two up. Once we've done this, we can go and take it for a test drive. Should really find some hard base to go with it. I'm pretty positive that's the requirement. Cool at one. There we go. Nice. Right, move to the paint shop. 
Da 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 paint room. Bang. Here we go. Let's do this. There's our tank. Now we need some nice Icon du Stalin. Let's make sure everyone knows exactly where our tank is from. This is Soviet boy. It needs its Soviet stars. Yes, that is good. I like that. And camo. What should we do? Hmm. Looks very Russian. Don't like that one. Or that one. Or that one. Oh, that's very red. That's a bit weird. Oh, very, very winter war. Part of me does like that. And we have deserty, and we have weird, and you know what? I'm going for winter war. That is cool. We will go with that. That is our tank. So it's time to take her outside and take this baby for a spin. Proving grounds, test drive. Eh. We'll take this one for a proper drive, I think. Okay, here she is. We've done some of the shooting before. It's just target shooting, so let us get in the tank. Get inside, driver. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh... Now we need some proper hard base to go with this. Look at that suspension. Oh, I've missed one of the actual uh, shocks there. This looks surprisingly quick as well for a, uh, a tank. Look at this. 30 miles an hour. It's like lightning. Definitely to be skidding past cars and, you know, probably have some drunk Russian soldiers sat at the top. But it certainly works. Oh, yeah. We're doing an in lap this time over those logs to see what the suspension does. I like how they actually simulate all that stuff. The suspension genuinely actually appears to work like it should. You'll see over here. Look at that. That is cool. There's a lot of nice simulation there. You see, most of the tanks on the ground, but it's just like it's lifting up as it passes over those things. Generally, remaining rather straight. That is so cool. Can we flip the T34? No, I don't think we can. But this is fun. We empty tank driving around. <laughs> That is a blast. An absolute blast. Uh, how do I get out? Huh. Wait, can I shoot it from here? Aww. I can't. That makes me sad. Really sad. Can I get out? There we go. <laughs> Well, the T3485 was a lot of fun today. A nice little chill one. Uh, don't forget to catch me streaming in a bit. That'll be a couple of hours from now. And I should be there, as long as there's been no major dental emergencies. Thanks. We'll see you then. Bye.